Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's the first day of light season, and as you can see from my background, I did take a defense loss. So we got this one defense result with one foes defeated. Minus 40 is not the biggest deal in the world. I'm pretty sure this like guarantees that I can't make tier 39, basically, because I'm sure I'm going to lose more lift on defense the rest of the season. But that's okay, we had a streak of three weeks in tier 39. It's about time that it ends. Um, was not expecting to make tier 39 probably ever, but I guess my defense just did so well those past few weeks. But anyway, so um, another week with no offense bonus unit, no offense mythic, is just lovely. So yeah, we don't have dagger. Um, and I don't have any of these other units either. I don't have Urk, I don't have any of the 5-star exclusives on that banner. I guess Alphonse would be an option, or Sonya, but Sonya's still at 4-star. I'm just gonna use Gunthra. It's unfortunate that this is before she gets her uh, remix, but anyway. So this is the build. Um, yeah, it is what it is. It's not gonna be great, but, um, you know. it's it, My options are really limited, unfortunately, when I don't have the bonus mythic. So yeah. Um, so we've got this team with Triple Mythic and Claude, this team with Aversa and Double Mythic and Claude. We've also got this team with a Brave Hector on it. He is plus three now because I happened to pull another merge yesterday. And I also got a four-star special of him the other week. Um, I do have Far Save as his C skill, like I gave it to him because I got a Spare Henriette who has minus attack. But I just don't really feel like using it. Um, Hector's really only here just in case I ever run into a pickle where, like, there literally is no other option. Like, Claude just cannot be used. So there's that. We also have Innes' AR debut. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this team, but... Actually, maybe let's take out Air and replace her with a Dancer. I don't... Because my, my goal really is to use him as, like, a hit-and-run unit this this week, anyway. Um, who can take out stuff like Farsave Vectors, or Farsave Brave Edelguards... So, yeah, um, let's see if we have any dancers who are already light blessed. Who is there? Minion? Is that my only option, really? I don't think she's very good, is she? Hmm. What other options would I even have? I guess Plumeria would be a pretty good one. Let's uh, light bless her right now. Sorry about the little detour. I wasn't expecting to have to do this, but um, you can just feel free to skip over this part. So she's getting a light blessing. I have a lot of light blessings, so I don't mind doing this. Um, Alright, so let's take a look at her build. What should she be running? Fury, Deathblow, or Close Ward? I don't really know. I feel like Fury's fine. Fury's just good enough. And Drive Attack, I guess, is also nice. Um, as for her seal, maybe just drive attack again. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, cool. Um, and then we've also got the Cavline counter team. Um, so Mikai is on this, Brave, uh, not Brave Roy, regular Roy is on this, and Guthra. Um, uh, Guthra, like, unfortunately her color is not, like, she can probably take on a bad Reinhardt, but, um... I don't know, we'll see. We will see, I have to use Gunthra. There's no other option. So let's just see what Aetherese has for us. Okay. Wrath. Linja. Hell. Bramimond. Selif. Um, this is the guaranteed follow-up one. And Triandra. Okay, well, um, obviously this doesn't really look like it'd be a good job for, um, Brave Claude. Or would it be? Could it be a good job for Brave Claude? I mean, I could probably take out, uh, Wrath with Brave Claude on player phase, and then maybe tank him? Maybe tank the rest of the units? After that? I don't really know. Or maybe this is a good chance to debut Innis. Yeah, maybe I can put in some work here with Innis. Because Innis can probably take out Selif, right? Is there infantry pulse on board? There isn't, so he won't retaliate with reprisal. Reprisal? Oh no, he will because of time's pulse. Well, that is a little bit annoying. 
Because I will deal a lot of damage to him, but then he'll just retaliate with reprisal. Reprisal? I don't know how to pronounce it. So maybe Brave Claude is the move here? Because maybe I can get Brave Claude to attack Wrath. How much speed will Wrath have? Time to pull out the calculator. Speed Res Rain will not hit Claude in combat. Um, this will not activate this... Speed Defense Rain will also not activate. I guess I am a little bit worried about this Linja. Jesus Christ. Can I take two hits from her? I guess with Guard Active, I probably can. How much attack will she have? She has 56 minus 7 from Sabotage Attack. Um... Plus six from Swift Sparrow, and yeah, that's 55 attack on Claude's defense. What's Claude's defense? He's got 30 plus five from Milla, plus five from Close Foil, plus five from his weapon, plus, um, what do we have? We've got Ward Flyers on Peony, maybe that's the right move, plus another four from that. Yeah, Linja will not be hitting him super hard. Um, she just won't. So maybe the move is, in fact, to see if we can player face this Wrath with Claude, and then kind of just take everyone else. Oh wait, I'm so silly, like I can't even reach this Wrath. What was I thinking? I was thinking I'm gonna snipe him from here, but I literally can't. It's just not possible. Is there a way to use Roy here? No, unfortunately, like, Wrath's range just overlaps with too many people, I think, to use Roy. Hmm, is there a way for us to snipe... Snipe Wrath. I think technically if I break that catapult, um... Then I, I just, I just feel like the maneuvering for that will just be so difficult that it's not really worth it. So maybe let's try Innis. <laughs> maybe let's try Innis on this. Let's see if it works. Alright, I can test out these two traps. That's that's safe because I do have a healing tower which does not get broken by their catapult. So I can kind of just take my time with this. Okay, that doesn't matter. It's only 20 damage anyway. Um, I guess I might as well test out this one as well. Okay, that's the real trap. Yes, of course. Um, I bestow my blessing. It will be done. Like this. Let's think about this. I don't think I want to break the panic banner. Are you certain? Innis needs to heal, we know that. So let's just heart. let him heal up this turn. Thankfully there's no tactics room. That would definitely be a little bit annoying here, I think. So we want to break this in. My arrow it will be the heart. I bestow my Let's do this. Calls. Like so. Do this and check Are some damage. Certain? Oh, that's a lot of... of course. What do I have mean? a way to attack Selif? My arrow will and then the Peony Wait. needs to be able to move too. Wait, no, she has Wings of Mercy. Oh, so what yes. I can do is attack Selif. Um, which way will Triandra go, though? That's what I'm concerned about. Should I wait one more turn for this? Because, yeah, if I attack Selif, Peony, Wings of Mercy's in, and Repo's in his back. Um, darn, he's soaking Bright Shrine. Not much I can do about that, though. But, yeah, so I, I, I would be concerned about getting the isolation on Triandra next turn, too, and I... She's probably going to go one down and one to the right, right? I don't see her just going one down. So maybe let's wait one extra turn. Let's wait one extra turn and then we'll go in. Let's see his damage against Brammy too. Okay, that's good. So we'll take out Selif. 
Oh, that's a good line. I will protect everyone. Yeah, that's a big hit. She'll regret that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> Baby Innes' voice lines are a little bit funny to me. He sounds like a kid going through puberty, which I guess he essentially is. Um, I bestow my blessing. But yeah, let's uh, let's hope things move favorably after this. Like mm. so? Do I want to break this? I guess I do. All right, let's see what happens. Oh man, Triandra did move that way. We can actually snipe her this turn. Of course. Gun throw is useless. Wait a second. So I know that this is the fake trap. Hmm. I know that this is the fake trap. Can I use that to benefit me in any way? Like this. I can snipe Triandra, which I feel like has to happen. Dance with Peony. But then I don't really have a way to snipe Bramamond in the same turn because I can't really leave Innis here on this trap because everybody can kind of reach after that. So maybe we just snipe um, Triandra and then retreat? We can actually bait Bramamond, can't we? Because we've got no follow-up. So let's take out Triandra first. We kind of know this has to happen. Is that all you can do? Oh damn, we're getting like all the special quotes right now, period. Good morning. Let's oh, yes. repo you out. What can I do? And draw you back, and now you can actually take on Bramamond, I'm pretty sure. He does he does not get panicked. I Perfect. Let's get Mill in position to smite. Yes. And let's just so. leave with stuff like this. We can take on Bramamond. I am Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh my lord. Thank god for the healing tower, which is basically gonna get me to full HP after is this. That all you can do? Oh boy. We barely killed him, too. Them. My bad. I did not mean to say, um, him. Wrath is making things annoying. My arrow we can't kill Hell, but we can't even double Hell, because I'm not solo. So I want to take out Lin. You know what, let's smite like Gunthra this. up there. Leave her here, break the Bright Shrine, and she can get the pot next turn. Now, I think we are legally obligated to take out Linja here. Um, so that's good. And then we want to be able to get Wrath off the map next turn, too. Um, and I think it'll have to be Innis. Um, um, um. How will they move? Wrath is definitely annoying. Like so? Ah, yes. My arrow will pierce What's the, the best heart. way to get them out of here? I am drawing a blank right now. Ah, yes. Wrath is definitely annoying. Are you if certain? you let him initiate on you. How are we gonna get that last pot though? My arrow will pierce the heart. Actually ah, yes. Can we take <sighs> Maybe if we certain? do this? We get out of the way like this. Maybe this way. Good morning. Ready. I'm a little bit concerned about hell, actually. This. Good morning. My arrow well, not much I can do right now. Actually, yeah, maybe we do. We do let Wrath attack us. Maybe. How much speed will he have? I feel like a lot. Um, ah, yes. He might actually double us. What does he got? Why is he debuffed? Oh, from her dance? Okay. So it's got 40 speed. Plus 7 from this. Plus 6 from that. He's got 53 speed, oh, and we certain. do not have that much speed when we're not solo. We've got 48 plus 6. Um, 48 plus 6 minus 3 from lull. He actually does not double us, so maybe the move... Well, no, we have to be able to take out this hell, too. My arrow mm. will I hope I didn't goof. Ah, yes. Ah, 
Yeah, I'm a little worried about this hell. My arrow will pierce the heart. Are you certain? Because I can, I can break this or break the pot as well. But then... But then Wrath attacks me. We can take a hit from Wrath. We've already determined that. But where's Hell gonna go? She's probably gonna chase after Gunthra. She's, there's no way she's chasing after 61 Defense Milla. Um... But, let's say Hell moves two this way. Gunthra can... So, so her range would be... One, two, three... Gunthra can just move one, two, three. And she'll be out of Hell's... Oh, but what if Hell moves one up? Yeah, Hell's gonna move one up. Yeah, I'm definitely concerned about Gunthra. Hmm. Yep, definitely concerning. But, I My still think this might be heart. the best thing to do. Jeez, I don't know. Which way is- so if, if I don't do that, Wrath is gonna move- yeah, no, if I don't do that, Gunthra's in big danger. So let's yes. just do this, um, and see what happens. Yep, we knew that was gonna happen. We heal it all back with the healing tower. What about Gunther, though? Oh, Hell's gonna move down because of Peony. Well, you know what? That's actually really good. Because we can take out Wrath now. Um, we can grab this pot, grab this pot. And... Can we take out Hell? We can! Okay, wow. Wonderful clear featuring Innis. Y'all, I'm super happy with the way this one turned out. <laughs> I was a little bit worried there. He's so good. Okay, Hell. We get it. Wow. Busted unit, and he's only plus one. Cool. I'm so glad I just randomly decided to put him on a team this morning, because Claude absolutely would, would not have been able to deal with that. Alright, beautiful. So now let's take a look at this defense replay. I've already looked at it. It's a little bit feels bad. But then again, like, this team was meant to be temporary anyway. I'm just holding on for the next Dark Mythic. Then I'll probably set up a cav line for this season too. Um, Alright, so plus two, Brave Edelgard. Mystic Boost and Bonfire. Very, very interesting build. Does she have Slaying? I didn't realize she had Slaying. Alright. Um, an Uruk as a bonus unit. A plus two. A very strange build, Lucina. Um, a plus one Mila and a plus three Air. So let's take a look at what they did. So yeah, they're gonna bait from the one spot that my team is really susceptible to baiting in, um, which is, you're gonna see. But I'm pretty sure it's fairly obvious anyway. Yeah. From here, obviously. So yeah, Lewin does a lot in the first hit but can't do much after that. And now Bramamon's gonna go and take out Lucina, but unfortunately they could not have reached Edelgard. Um, anyway. So yeah, that was their only- that was their only death. So Urk actually putting in some work. Anyway, at this point, like, yeah. Lucas obviously can't do much. Um, Triandra tries, um... And Tethys, this was a little bit feels bad too. Tethys was fairly close to killing Edelgard here. Somewhat close. Yeah, six away. Well, too bad. Alright, minus 40. You know what the way I see it is? They gave me minus 40, I gave them minus 60 because they don't have a bonus mythic. So I'm still the winner here. <laughs> Sorry about that, Velo. Um, but 
yeah, I don't think I'll rematch this person. Although, I will say it's very interesting to see a Sarah with Restore rather than with um, Return. So, I'd be curious to see what's there, but I don't really like rematches anymore. So, um, yeah. So, I guess that's it for today's AR video. Um, let me know how your week started off. Hopefully, it started off okay. And I will see you tomorrow with this video. Bye!